Hello there, this is Dave Allen. Today we're going to have a look at iBooks Author and we're going to put in a pop-up text. It's quite easy to do. And all we need to do is go to the widget area and choose this pop-over. And we've got a pop-over just inserted in there. We can move that wherever we want. Now we need to put a picture in there to let people know that it's a pop-over thing. So let's grab a picture and put it in there. Let's go to the find and drag a picture in there. So I've got one here called Tap for More. So let's put that in there. And now once I've got it in there, I can move it and put it where I want it. So obviously what you're going to do with this here is you're going to have it connected to some piece of text. So I'm going to have it on this bit of text about creating macros. So let's get some text to put in there. Let's double tap on that there. And now I can add text and also I can drag in images. So let's do that first of all. Let's put some text in there. Okay, so this one I'll do. Let's grab this bit of text here and we'll copy that. Go back into iBooks Author. Click on that and press paste. We've got our text in there. Now you can also put images in there. That's quite good. So let's grab an image to put in there. Let's go to Finder. So in Finder, I've got an image in this folder here that I can use. And let's grab that and I'm going to drop it in there. Once you've got that in there, you can move it around to where you want it so that it uh, does the wrap around thing. So if you want to make some change the way that the wrap works, just go to this tab in the inspector and you can choose how you want it to wrap. OK, so there you go. We've got some uh, text wrapping around our object now and everything's just super duper. So that's how easy it is to put in a popover with an image and images within the popover text on your iBooks author. Now let's have a quick look in iBooks and see what that looks like. So here's our button on our page and it looks rather good. Just tap on that and we get more information. And not only that, we can actually scroll that information within that little pop-up text box. How about that then? Marvellous or what? This is Dave Allen for No Stylers and for Mac Questions. Have some fun making some books with iBooks Author. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video, and why don't you check out the other videos? Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.